There are a lot of copyright myths, misinformation, and misunderstandings out there at the moment, particularly when it comes to copyright infringement on the Internet. So to help website owners, we designed this simple infographic to explain what you need to know about copyright, how not to breach copyright, and how to protect yourself from any copyright infringement. Copyright belongs to the person who created a work. A work can be a photograph, image, words, song, tagline, music, article, software code, or anything you create yourself from scratch. Any such material or work has automatic protection for the creator without the need for registration. The first myth. Once a work is posted online, it loses copyright protection. The fact is copyright exists in the work from the moment it is created and does not lose its protection, even if it's not registered, no matter where it's posted or how it's used. You cannot use or post anyone else's photographs, images, words, songs, taglines, music, articles, without their express permission. The second myth. You can copy someone's work online provided you link back to them. This is not correct. Even if you credit them, this is not, in many cases, enough or acceptable. You need to check with the owner of the work first. There is no implied permission, so you cannot assume they're okay with it. Now, some websites do state that you can use certain material provided you link back to them and give them credit. But you should check first, unless permission is specifically granted for the work or item you want to repost or use. The third myth. If you alter or change the work, or only use a part or portion of it, you are not breaching copyright. This is false, at least in most cases. All use, whether in part or in a derivative form, is still covered by copyright law and protections. There are, however, a few exceptions which are called fair use. These include use for educational purposes, critiques, and other limited uses. But generally all use, whether in part or in a derivative form, is breaching copyright if you haven't received permission. The fourth myth. If there is no copyright symbol, the work is free to be used. Again, this is incorrect. There is no requirement to display a copyright symbol or even register any work to have copyright protection. It's protected from the moment it's created and the owner doesn't lose this protection just because they haven't displayed the copyright symbol. Although there's no requirement to register copyright, if it's an important work or being used worldwide, you may wish to consider registration for added protection. The fifth myth. You can use another person's work so long as you don't make any financial gain or profit from it. This is definitely wrong and false. You're breaching copyright whether you make money or not. You cannot use the argument that you're giving the copyright owner free advertising or that you came up with the lucrative idea and you will share it with the copyright owner. Any and all profits you make would be taken into account by a court if you were sued. And irrespective of whether you make any money, you're still breaching copyright. The defining issue is not financial gain but the actual breach. Find your own images and content to use and ideas to make money from. In summary, don't use anyone else's idea, work, images, or anything that's not your own without getting permission, unless you can point to specific authorization to use someone else's work. Otherwise, you might find yourself with copyright infringement notice from the owner, or worse, in court. We're always here to help you at Legal123, and we've designed an easy-to-use copyright infringement notice if you find someone has infringed your copyright. Check us out at legal123.com.au.